Coastal oil pump and some more NCY or SSPG because they're both the same to me. <laughs> so, yep, put that away. We'll check that out later. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and check this out. Um, we're gonna go and key on cleaning. So, we got here got quite a bit of things to thing that we already sand this guy down here. So, I think it's time maybe to hit him with the spray. I think we wiped everything down the rail, or did we? I'm not sure yet. Gotta wipe it down thoroughly. And then we'll get a spray to make sure there's no clean debris that's gonna stick between our enamel and our metal pieces. So you can never be too certain. Just go ahead and continue wiping things down to make sure. I think that's about it. Everything is pretty buffered out. This will come off. We're gonna have to hit that with the spray. This is gonna hold our front end. I believe this is gonna hold our sort of, you know how you have the little center here where you can put a hook where it holds your whatever your grocery bag or anything? And this is where it's actually stabilized right here, that hook to a solid piece. And anything, we probably would probably modify that, even maybe put our cup holder instead there. So this is a stronger plate, I believe, than maybe just using this guy. But we'll see. Um, all right, so let's go hit it with a spray here. Let's see what it does. There we go. Clean out all the areas that we're about to spray on. We'll wipe it down. Here it go. <laughs> yep. This one especially. All right, this one right here. Okay, the one that we just did here. Get the tube out of here. Spray that one. Hey, we do a spray on this one already? Yeah, I did. It dries up pretty quick. That's what I like about these things. They dry up quickly. That way you're not worried about... I think that was it. Yeah, it dries so fast. Yeah, we just want to clean it. So, right here, throttle body air intake cleaner. You can use anything just to clean it. Make sure you get all the lube out of it, though. Just don't use WD-40. It will remove the rust, but you need to get the lubricant off, and WD-40 leaves a lube. It's great for taking off adhesive. We found that out. So, oh. there we go. I would unmount this right here and give it a spray as well, because we only need to focus on air. That's why I think that little brushel that um, APM showed to be able to remove just the areas that you need to expose was awesome, because it, it just actually like a wire brush. It would just take only a certain diameter only. That way you don't have to go all over the place like I did. Like with this thing right here. I could have just got away with that little brush and just really worked around. Instead of now I got a whole, whole diameter here to uh, get resolved. This is weird. How come there's a clump here? That's weird. I'm surprised that there's a clump there. Oh well. It's, maybe we can stand it down a little bit more. That was weird that there was a clump there. I'm not sure from left over. Oh, maybe that, that, that electric grease. That's what we had earlier there. Okay. There we go. All right, now let's kind of trace it back. Let's wipe it down. And we're gonna start our little fine tuning pin here. To, I can use the same rag here. This one's pretty clean still. Use the other side. Don't have to go to waste. We're just wiping things down, prepping the surface here for our can't hang down. These things dry fast, fast. There's not even any moisture to really wipe. That's okay because we're just trying to wipe it, making sure there is it's clean from all this debris that we just sand.
especially this guy right here. Oh, I didn't even spray this guy. He's the one that needs it the most. And the most critical area too, where a gas tank, if our gas tank leaks, it's gonna be a little bit troublesome trying to find the right fitting gas tank back on here. All right. Okay, it's ready to go. Uh, putting the heat up on the back of the alarm, that should be like less than a minute deal. So that shouldn't be hard at all. Just tapering these guys down, perhaps to not let the spray go everywhere. That's gonna be, that's gonna be another trick, especially getting to the back of this guy right here too. So we probably wanna take this off probably be a cleaner because we'll eventually have to take it off anyway so we could probably do it now um, probably want to take this bracket off so there's only three bolts that's holding it and we have our allen socket now that we can actually use to get off so let's go and get that guy off here that way when we give it a nice coat it won't be too much trouble so get our allen socket figure out the right one One looks like probably this one is probably the HH81 right here. Um, I'm thinking, no, it's big. So it's probably the six. Seems like we use a lot more of the six H6 right here. Yep, it's the six. So we'll take that, we'll drive it off. Gotta be real careful though because everything else will fall off. So I'll have to probably use two hands to. One to hold it in place, and the other one to take it off. So let me go and get started. There's gonna be three Allen bolts holding it. Um, I'm not sure we have black version of these bolts. That would be cool. Maybe change that with the black Allen bolts, huh? But for right now, I think this will be working okay. There you go, look at those three amigos sitting there. Go and get that. Wow, it is getting warm out in here in California. Lefty Lucy. Lefty Lucy. There we go. Gonna pre loose all of them first. That way the pressure comes off almost evenly, sort of. Yeah, these. A little bit longer bolt, but it's not really hitting the thing, so I'm not worried about it. And they also have lock washers to it. Well, this one has it anyway. I don't know about the other ones, but we'll find out. I almost feel like I can actually turn this off. Prepare to catch it if it ever does kind of just decides to play Geronimo. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so this one's pretty long. Yeah, and you got ugly, nasty stuff in the bottom there. Hopefully we can wipe off. Might be from the rust remover or something. Yeah, that thing is kegged on there. Kind of, I don't know where it got from, but we'll find out once we take it off what else is underneath there. <sighs> okay, put this down. This has a lock washer. They should all have like washers and lock washer. So when we prep those back up, if we can't find a black one, we'll definitely keep the silver one, but we'll, we'll need to get the right size to match it. So this takes uh, again the six Allen. Size. And this has a washer in the bottom, but not a lock washer. We should be using a lock washer, really. That way it puts some pressure in case it vibrates. And then we'll put on some with Loctite, too. I think there was blue Loctite. You can tell by there's a residue of white that's built up. That's blue Loctite. Okay, so this guy wants to go. Let me just hold on to him. 
I'll like get this guy off evenly first. Yep, so this is going to be interlocked with the case being in the way, the third bolt. Uh, they'll have to take seat off first too as well in order to get these three bolts in order to get the whole Gibby case <laughs> and the whole setup here. So that's quite a bit of work. Um, take the seat cover off. They'll probably have to damage a lot of things in order to do that. But okay, what I'm going to do is hold on to this because this is the last bolt that's holding everything together. Ooh, look at all the little particles of, I'm not sure if it's just left over. There we go. Let me put this down. You guys can see me get ready to lift this guy up. Bon Appetit. Let's see if I can just lift it. Oh, this one wants to hang off too. So, look at that. This comes right off. There you go. This comes right off. Let's see if I can go and place it on my lap here. Oh, you guys can see it. Yeah, so there we go. We got to get that. easier paint <clears throat> just to make sure there's left it then with this guy here more than likely we could probably oh the arm's coming yep we can almost paint this guy here too black while we have him this far out maybe we can who knows put some black enamel on him but i kind of want to just keep him sober what we're going to do however is we are going to touch up on the paint here though you can see here it's easier to spray now that's off like this we can just go and one quick pass and get that guy done with these guys here we can come from the sides and the top no problem so we don't have to tape too much off here we'll see um, I hate to keep masking taping things there we go not bad <laughs> there was some paint drip here that's a, that's a white paint I think we put it outside and it had some white paint kind of fell on it <laughs> Uh, that's a little white paint mark there. Well, at least I can know that's my scooter, huh? If someone takes us, I have a white paint in the back of my gas tank. Do you know that? Oh, okay. Well, that's my scooter. <laughs> All right. So this is really dusty. I'm glad we took it off because... And then we're going to try to match the, the Allen bolt to see if we can find the better ones out there. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me go and put this one back in. Back here, I'll carry it with me carry my charger with me because it needs to be attached together okay so we're gonna bring this cardboard because I believe if we spray we definitely don't want to get everywhere and we could probably even use this guy here the bubble wrap that came in hand we can use him to kind of cover the areas that we don't want paint on and we don't really need that thick so we're gonna be able to use this filler paper here we're gonna spray paint and put them down here. I'm gonna go and get this guy on the stand here. Alright, so here we go. Unhook baby. Let's set this down for a second here. Let's go and prep up our sheet. How we're gonna spray. Where we're gonna spray. I just don't want it to spray and get onto the car, so I'll probably have to back it up even further, more than likely right here. That way when we spray, there's no reason for it to get onto the car, right? So let's go and back up the scooter even more further down. Make sure the Allen bolts are not in the way. Okay, I'm going to push it forward. Put this back here. Seems to stay pretty well. Almost feel like doing it on the grass, to be honest with you. That way, if it does get in the grass, you can always mow the grass off. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, we might just, you know what? We could probably do it in the grass. There's no reason to. The grass is pretty dry. good area so you can't paint on the grass however this might be a situation here where it teeter tots more than it really wants for balance reasons anyway make sure the grass is not ground all right let's do this so we got our scooter here on the grass area 
And if the grass gets a little bit of black paint, then so be it. But we can always what, scoot it down. This one's gonna be our area here. There we go. Fall slicely there. We're gonna go. It's gonna get a little bit on here, but we're gonna try to tape it up or just cover it up basically. Okay. There's the two Allens and the third one, which is the longest one. Let's go see if we can match them, even find some nice black ones. How about that? So when we come back, we'll have them ready to go. Where are you? Okay, let's look for these guys here. I don't think we have them in that size right off the bat. I think the best ones I have are these guys here, but they're not definitely. These are looking a little bit bigger. So let me set this down here and try to try see if I can dig through this. Okay. So we need a total of this one. We need this one. This had a washer, which we're not gonna use this, this kind of wash. This had a lock washer, actually. It was a nice black one, too. So the idea is to see if we can match them, preferably with a black color one, right? Let's see what I have. I doubt that I have a black one. Yep, I don't. They're a little bit bigger. This one's definitely bigger. You can tell right off the bat. So this is probably M6, and this is probably way bigger. So we're gonna keep those Allen bolts, but we want what we would like to do is find a better washer and a better lock washer in all three of them. So let's go and do that. Look, this one already has it prepped, ready to go. Out of two anyway. So we can see this has a lock washer and everything ready. This one's a black one, which is which is fine. They're the same actually. This is actually a little bit longer. I'm just afraid that it might not need a little bit longer. So what we'll do is we'll just rob the washer at least. Oh, the lock washer can be probably be replaced. See, when the lock washer is almost flush like this already, you want to keep the strength alive. You can rebend it and everything like that. But since we already have one here ready to go, we'll just go ahead and use this one. And we're going to get for all three sets here like this to the same. So again, this was the center one here that was in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lock washer first, then the washer. There's a little bevel side and then there's a little flat side. So what I'm gonna do is have it pretty much the lock washer facing the little flat side of it. That will scrape the flat side, not the bevel side. Cause we just wanna put pressure on it. And then when we want the washer to protect it uh, in the surface diameter. So oh, this guy's gonna be a pretty one open. Okay, so let's go and find the same washer set up for these guys. Or if anything, their lock washer. I found them right away. There's one. It's too big. Too big, too big. Not too small. Same size. I think they're the same size. This don't even look like a lock washer, really, huh? I think this is actually a bigger size. Or is it? I think they are the same size. Let me see. Yeah, barely fits. This one might like fit a little bit too more looser. So. I'm not sure. This one does look a little bigger though. Let me see if I can find one a little same smaller length. So these look almost the two the same, but they're not. So I think that we were using this one with this one, so this one's probably the more tighter fit. Maybe skinnier, who knows? Seems tighter though. Yeah, these two like seemed like they're probably identical now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Well, we don't wanna put the washers on the top. Okay, so these two here we're gonna use. 
Okay, we're gonna need their this washer. Let's use some new ones. And they're not crush washers. They're, we're not trying to seal any fluid. We actually want these guys to actually hold enforcement where the plates are. So we're gonna go and put these two are the same. So we'll put the lock washer in now. It's not gonna take any more. I think these guys have plenty of threads. They almost actually stick out about two centimeters even past the thread of the other side. So the washer will actually maybe even leveled up pretty nicely. Okay, we're gonna put the flat side facing the lock washer. That way you can just grip on the flat surface. There we go, that's it. That's our set there. Yep, uh, we could we did have black ones, but there was none black ones, so there's no point of changing it if we don't have black ones, right? Um, yeah, because we checked it last time. All right, so we'll keep these as spares for next time, I guess, for next usage. And this one here, we'll still keep it just as backup. Always good to have it still as a backup, just prepare. So yeah, these will go back to bolting our setup once we get the spray on there. So let's go and examine the spray real quick and see actually how that all plays out. So I got my spray. I'm going to go and carry some masking tape just in case to be able to tape certain areas. Same masking we use to actually, what do you call it, tape our washing. There we go. Here's our masking tape. Get some of this guy. Let's throw back to here. Then after that, we'll go ahead and do the super glue and what have you and the, the broken parts that we find. So let's see how this thing will work. In fact, I should bring some more of that scrap paper. Those fill-in paper should, should be pretty good. We can rip here and there as we need it to cover certain areas. Let me go and clean up a little bit. Put this back. I think I have a cap for it. Cool. All right. So we don't need, we just need to mask it out because when it sprays, it's gonna try to get everywhere. And we don't want it to get into our plastic, which there's no rub, rubbish paint that has a problem. So you can see here, I'm just laying this guy right, like right underneath it just to keep him from getting there. We don't need this for right now, we'll save this for the other components here. So let's go get our can and let's fire away. You might want to stay away from the wind direction because you don't want the spray to come back and spray at you. <laughs> okay. Yep, you always have to show your ID. I'm not sure in California only, but uh, when you buy spray cans. But it's funny, I bought this online and they didn't ask me for any ID. They assume if you own a credit card or if you can pay for it, then you don't need an ID. Okay, so what it is, this is enamel. And it just eliminates rust, uh, eliminates corrosion and protection for, I think they said about a year, really. Only a year, huh? You would think it just stays on forever. Uh, crayon and rust, tough enamel, enamel rust. And it's already a gloss black selection. Pinch and pull for child safety. Let's see what the direction says. Okay, two minutes after ball with pin correction. Okay. Hey, you would figure there's like a quick start guy, you know? All right, let's see. It's, it's, it's flapping already. We want to be able to. might even just want to protect this guy here so I'll probably tape him off a little bit too uh, let's see here get some more bubble wrap it's almost an art Try and get this away from where you're not wanting to paint. 
Okay, I think I got it. Or sort of. And make it look a little bit more nice and professional. All right, let's go ahead and hit the spray so we can get going here. Okay, we're gonna try hit this one too, a little bit. All the areas that we see right here, right here, along those lines. Okay, so squeeze. There we are, it's, it's officially out. I'm not sure which way the wind direction is. You can lick your finger and feel cool air, I guess. I can't tell. <laughs> uh, but it's not that windy enough for it to cause that effect. Okay, so I think there's a safety lever here. Be careful, you don't want to spray in your eye. Just You have to remove it, I guess. There you go, I just kind of protrude it out. And I think it's going to spray from here. So we'll be really cautious. We'll, we'll hit, see the arrow there, it indicates. This is where the where we're supposed to be directing it at. So yeah, it's coming out of that little funnel there. Shake it well, 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 well. Okay, so we'll start here, this guy here. See how it does. Yeah, that is a splat though. There you go. There you go. It's more darker than it is, but. There we go. That's it. That's all we're aiming for. See how that little run mark is? It almost matches, huh? We're not too shabby. I just don't like that watermark. So we'll probably have to go like that. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over. Get the little corners there. There we go. Probably have to wait till this dry before we... Oh, it smells like crayon now. All right. It's looking pretty cool. All right, let's, let's go and move over. Man, I feel like I'm always doing something like Batman. This is like one of his, I, I don't know. <laughs> Does it remind you of anything like Batman? <laughs> I remember how Batman takes his first uh, bit, uh, prototype mask, I think the Dark Knight, and he's like trying to find out which material is strong and he cracks it. But he's, and then he finally gets it and he sprays paint it. There we go. Look at that. That wood cut got into our thing easily. Easily. Probably still can actually. I don't know yet. I'm about to hit it over here. It's going to probably ricochet maybe. I hope not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lucky this thing's whole thing is black. Black, huh? I think it's good. I think we did our job here. This one's ready to go. I was confident here I can actually get this guy without having too much. I know my NCY is like, do not spray me. Whatever you do, do not spray me. So let me go ahead and try to get the areas here that I know I can probably get away with without having to take care of too much things off. So, well, at least this guy's black anyway. It's not like he's going to have a problem. Hope not to spray my tool. Don't need to be. You can see how the tip is already. It's bloody black. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. That was a quick coat too. Oh, not my can. Should have took that off, but there's nothing to protect my can. I can start wiping something. There we go, that's protected now. Now this is the one. This is the one that's gonna make or break. Let's get this guy here too. <laughs> Did we wipe this down yet? It feels like we haven't even wiped it down yet. I think when we took it off, there was a little spaticles, right? And I should have wiped it down a little bit more now afterwards. So let me go get something to wipe it down. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. God, this thing just glops, huh? There you 
we go. Get this guy out of the way. Anything we don't want to spray on. Don't mind spraying on him too much, but this one's ready. Just hate the glop effect though. God, the thing comes out like no mercy. Okay, let me see if I can wipe. Yeah, that guy, when he gets on there, he gets on there. I know gasoline will take him out, but try to see if I can wipe him now, you know? Save a little distortion here. Yeah, these things can be tapered on a little bit better to avoid it. All right, so let's see NCY why one's gonna be critical. So this, can use some clean one. There we go. Do not fall, because you're the only thing that's gonna protect it from pain. There we go. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Look how far it squirted. There we go. That one's done. Okay, don't come close. Okay, I got paint. No, no. Yeah, you know, I want you to play with toy too, but you guys go play over there. Wow, that thing squirted like from afar. Lucky I had the whole long piece there, or else it would have covered that. And see why, no problem. Let me see if I can go up. Squirt, squirt. Okay, that one's good. We gotta get this area here. There we go. That one's done. Since we're down here, right, we can get these guys here. Let's see if I can aim for them. Ready? One, two. There we go. That one's done. All right. Spray down there. Let's see where else here. On this side here, this is gonna be fun. Try to get this guy here, but we don't want the rim to get anywhere near that paint. Um, 